את שלום רסטפרי. חג שמח, for Sukkot. This is uh, the Shemeni Atzeret, or the Simen Tenyao Gubayi. Or the eighth day, what's often called the eighth day, the gathering, the eighth day assembly, which occurs at the end of Sukkot, or tabernacles, indwelling, this season which has so much Ivine meaning for I and I. It's a very prophetic season, as you already know, or should know. It coincides with the heavenly signs of the blood moon and the ingathering, the call of the elect, the call of the once lost but now found, the ingathering of the Beta Israel and the righteous among the Gentiles, the nations in I and I, Black Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMoshiach. So in the Amarinya, we say Melkam Baal. Now that word Baal, I know one's going to pick up on that, but check it out in the Hebrew. It's the husband man. Who is the husband man? Well, Yeshua HaMoshiach tells us that his Abba, his power, our Abba, our power is the husband man. This is why we refer to Ethiopia presently as the widow. Right? The widow. And the widow is about to come to the widow's peak. Right? And as we enter into the Shemitah year, right? The Shemitah, the year of release. This Eobeliu, this Jubilee year. Perhaps we should start to study up on the book of Jubilees as well. But let's just go over this right here. And we're going to use, uh, utilize the, um, the Hebrew for Christians as a, as a reference, as a point of reference for the Shemeni Atzeret. Now, there are readings and feedings that go along as well. Let me just maybe uh, share some of this with you right here. Let me go back a page, right? So this is what we're speaking of right here, right? The Shemeni Atzeret, and you can go to Rastafari Groundation, right? And this is the reading from the Torah for this day. So you can see October 15th to 16th, right? Let's just get a date check, right? A date and a time check, right? So today is actually the 17th, right? But we just want to just, you know, wrap this up because we're going into the Simchat Torah, right? Or the joy of the Torah, your Orit Desita, right? So just to kind of connect the, the, the meaning, right? The reason and the meaning, right? And then right here, this is the transfiguration. All right, let's uh, back that up right there. Hold on for a moment. Back that up right there. And you see Mark chapter 17, 1 to 9. Well, actually, Matthew chapter 17. You could have said, right? Uh, Matthew chapter 17, 1 to 9. And Mark chapter 12, 28 to 33. Now, if you're familiar with the scriptures, you'll recognize that that is the transfiguration on the mount by right? on the mount of transfiguration we also wanted to touch on that as well let's get up you know why and I black lord and savior appeared with Elijah and with uh, Musa Moses on the mountain right and remember they had the ideas I think it was Peter had the idea for the three tabernacles and then what the almighty said um this is my this is my well beloved, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Right? Hear ye him. And this was a, a setup for that teaching right there. Right? Or the Deborah, the Deborah, Deborah, actually I think it is, but Deborah, Deborah Tabot, the Deborah Tabot, right? From the is so anyway we see that right there right the mount of tr transfiguration where his garments shone right brighter than the sun that's all connected with this particular season so 
if you will go through and go over the readings, right, I think it begins up with tithing, right, with the tithes that were offered, right, as well as that gift, the gifts, right, that was offered for the tabernacle as the gifts for the ministry. And we like to um, bless ones in the name of the King of Kings and through his Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, for those gifts that have been given to the ministry of his majesty, to the line of the tribe of Judah, so that we can continue to move forward and minister to those near and to those far and say shalom to those near and to those far. All right, so this is a kind of a, a catch-up word. In fact, um, 17th, right? Is that a okay, it's the 17th. So, but these days are really connected right here because you see we're going into the Shabbat Eve where the Simchat Torah, once again, let's just show the eye of this right here. But what's the meaning of the Shemeni Atzeret? And a, a kind of very interesting thing that I noticed, and let me just click on this right here. So when you go to this page right here, right, you can see that it says the prayer, right, the prayer for the latter rain, right, or the rainy season, the prayer for the latter rain, which is the gathering on the eighth, right, the gathering on the eighth day, because it takes place over, takes place over seven days, right, in the das, right, or in the sukkahs. That's an uh, image I wanted to show from before. Some call it tikkul in Ethiopia, das. Uh, the singular is a sukkah, right? As individually, don't you know that your body is, a, is, is, is the temple or the, the tabernacle? He seeks to abide and indwell in and through I and I. Now, this is a, I mean, this is a very interesting reading and reasoning, you know, on the Shemeni Atzeret, which is the gathering, and we had this uh, pick two to kind of show, you know, for this uh, symbolic, you know, as a symbolic word pick right here, right, of the gathering, right? You can see that right here, the gathering. And it seems like mostly men, because if you look into the Torah, right, that responsibility, right, was put upon Adam. Right, because of the first things. Remember, because of one man's disobedience, right? All were made sinners, and it's through one man's obedience, and that one man's obedience is I and I, Lord and Savior, Master and Medicine, Yeshua Ha Moshiach. So, in seeing Yeshua in the Sukkah and the Sukkot is very, very, it's very, very important. And there's so much abundance within that. You know what I mean? Just ask him for the Holy Spirit to receive the spirit of truth. So we begin off now with the crown, right? You know, the crown is the orit. It's over here is the orit, right? The orit, which is Ethiopically, is Torah, oraya, araya, the perfect example, right? You know, he says, in his... Let us make man in his image, right? And after his likeness and the good is, if I'm, if I, if I stand correct, it's the Araya or the Orit, right? So we learn from these examples, right? We learn from these examples, the gathering, right? So make I and I dwell together, make I and I gather together in spirit and in truth, right? Then we can gather together you know, physically as well in the place in which he has designated for I and I, right? When we come out of this wilderness, because he is gathering us. That's the whole reason for the season. Um, I really wanted to go into this, but seeing we're coming forward on that, I'm going to go over the Shemeni Atzeret, because we're speaking about the seven days of Sukkot and how they end with the Hoshana Rabbah. Now, what is the Hoshana Rabba? The Hoshana Rabba, let's bring this up right here, is the seventh and the last day of Sukkot, Hoshana Rabba, or the Great Salvation. Right? The Great Salvation. Remember what the what they said when Yeshua came into Jerusalem? Hoshana, Hoshana, right? To the, you know, to 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 David. 
right? You know what I mean? To that David like, that son of David. Amen. As we say to the greater than David, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, Abatachin. So the great salvation of the King of Kings, the climatic day of eyes, of praises to Yahweh, to he who be who he be. Now, many of the ancient um, Memheran or the Rebis, they view this as like a mini Yom Kippur, a, a day on which the heavenly decrees that were made on Ras Hashanah or Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, and sealed on Yom Kippur, Yom Kippurim, right? The day of atonements or the covering, because it says that love covers a multitude of, of sins, right? It's that love, how the Father so loved I and I in giving and in sending His Son, our Savior, right? Our big brother, right? Yeshua HaMoshiach to be I and I great salvation in spirit and in truth. So when we look at it, we can say that Rosh Hashanah, the judgment is rendered, the trumpets, the first trumpet, right? Then Yom Kippur, the judgment is sealed. And then on Hoshana Rabbah, or the great salvation, the judgment is delivered, right? The judgment is delivered. Now, it's interesting how this connects with, um, you know, the tabernacle period or the temple period, the later day temple period of, of Solomon, right? Where the willow branches were placed around the altar and a parade was made around the altar while the people recited Hoshi'a-na, 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 or save us please. And this is based on Psalm Mesmore Dawit. Psalm 118, 25, 118, 25, Ana Adonai, Hoshi Atna, Ana Adonai, Hat Alikha Na, Baruch Haba Beshem Adonai, Baruch Nukem, Mi Beit Adonai, Save us now, Adonai, Adonai, I and I pray, make I and I thrive, Blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai, Yahweh, he who be who he be, is divine majesty, we bless you from the house of Adonai. That's a, that's, a, that's a connection right there and how that also further connects with the Adis Kidan, the Brit Hadasha period, and that last day or the great day. And... Perhaps just after the water libation ceremony, there was a water libation ceremony we find in the scripture, John chapter 7, verse 37 to 38, where Yeshua, he stood up and he cried out, if anyone thirsts, make him come to I and drink. Whoever believes, amens, in I, as the metaph, as the scripture has said, out of his heart, now, in the scriptures, in, in the King James, might say out of his belly, but out of his heart will flow rivers of living water, flow rivers of living water. Now, as you study this more, you'll see the connection of the pool of Siloam, the very sacred clothes, um, you know, the clothes, that closed spring, as it were, right? How it's connected with the rainfall, right, over the next few months that would directly impact the harvest that would be upcoming in the spring. And the need for rain over winter months in Israel was an ongoing need for the welfare and speaking to the welfare of the people, right? So we are giving thanks to the true landlord, right? The true Lord of the land. The earth is Yahweh's and the fullness thereof and they the, the world and they, the world and they that dwell therein. So the connection here with waters is very interesting. And this was brought to my attention. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can turn this on right here. This was brought to my attention. And this right here is in Ethiopia, right? Presently, right now, right? As of this recording, right? This is an app, right? There's an app for that. You see, I just, I, 
Addis Ababa or New Flower, right? It's 70 degrees, 72 high, I guess 47 low, partly sunny, right? And then right here, the AccuWeather, right, for Addis Ababa. So I asked, asked about, well, how is the weather in the south? Seeing that Israel or Palestine, or not Palestine really, it's not Palestine at all. Palestine was a little territory the Philistines had. It's really Judea, but they call it the Jews, who call themselves Jews or not, they, they messed up, they called it Israel. They should have listened to the, 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 the faithful Jews who said to call it Judea, right? Maybe that's why the King of Kings abstained during that UN vote, right? Or Ethiopia abstained. So, okay, here we have the weather. Today is the 17th, right? The 17th right there. But notice tonight, right? Tonight, you see the, you see the storm clouds, the rain is coming. So I was kind of curious about this. And in the 18th, you see some some clouds and, um, you know, lightning and stuff like that, right? Then I said right here, let's look at the four-day. So I looked over the four-day. I was like, wow, look at that. Rain over the four days moving forward. So this is a, this is a barricade, right? That's a barricade right there, the rains, if the people are able to receive that barricade, right? So we see the connection with the rains right there. Just wanted to testify you know, and kind of show that link right there. And go back to the, right, this once again right there. So the daytime, sunny, but clouds come in. And the nighttime, so that rain, right? So the Shemeni Atzeret is a prayer for the latter rain. He said he would give us the former and the latter rain. Now, yes, there's a spiritual application, right? Yet, as a... Uh, Romans say, right, we should be able to recognize, right, his power and his Godhead, even from the things, right, the things that are made or the things, you know, the earthly things, as Christ says, as the Moshiach says, if you don't, you know, if you can't recognize the earthly things, then how are you going to recognize and receive the heavenly things? Let me just get that verse just to remind myself of what the translation right here says happening in spirit is one thing but let's get the word right here let's get the word right here just so you can see this or hear this for yourself and here it's it's a judgment right it's a judgment time right the guilty world from verse 18 it says the wrath of elohim baruch who blessed be he is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men and people who hold the truth in unrighteousness. They don't hold the truth rightly. Now the universe, the universe, as I and I say, is a